Hi Geeks and Gamers, Matt Lemke here with Three Gamer Goggles and we're actually at the War Stores booth with Heath from Alter Reality Games and we're going to talk about gods and monsters. I've already got some photos, but uh, look at these guys. Really, let me get underneath it. There we go. Oh yeah. Um, you got to see this one too. Yeah, and well the other Herald, that is a Herald too, right? Uh, actually, this is a manifestation. But we'll get into that. We'll get into that. And here is a Herald, which is basically, this is what you start the game with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, the core idea behind Gods and Monsters is that you are actually playing the role of a god in one of our two starter factions. Like Moros' faction, which he just showed you here, is basically represented by Arthur. Arthur is a World War II veteran who doesn't exactly remember it right. So instead of tanks fighting soldiers, it's instead giant clockwork drakes fighting clockwork minions. And our other side, Moros. Moros is an a insane asylum escapee, so he decides that he is perfect, but everyone else is not. So he wants to destroy the world and just burn it all down. So he summons these nightmare creatures to kind of take out everything in the process. The idea is you play the role of one of these gods and you summon your monsters into the field. Like my fine friend was just saying here, you start off with one large monster, so one of these guys, our heralds, and then as you play through the game, you can actually summon monsters into the field as you play from an actual card deck we've got involved in the game. 600 cards, right? Uh, 600. Good God. No. Uh, no, 600 that makes the 60 card deck. Yes. That's what I meant to say. Yes, there you go. Yeah, each faction comes with a 60 card deck, which is split between having reinforcements that you can summon into the game and certain spells. We have invocations, which are spells, interrupt spells that you can use to interrupt your uh, buddy when you cast something. We also have mythos abilities, which are powerful abilities that your characters can use that have uh, unique effects, like. Uh, you can have acid rule that comes out and causes enemies damage when they attack you. That kind of thing. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Uh, right now we're in the process of uh, getting this game funded on Kickstarter. We are doing really well. We're here at Gen Con promoting it. Oh, it's actually live. Yes, it's live. Right now we've got oh. two weeks left on it. Yeah, I didn't realize it was live. I thought it was like in production. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we're in the process of it, but we do have a lot of plans for production as well. These guys are going to come pre-assembled, so you don't have to worry about spending an hour and a half to two hours trying to put all these things together. They're not going to come pre-painted, but they are going to come in colored, hard uh, PVC plastic. Yeah, like um, blue. Yeah, blue and purple. Very fancy colors. But the idea is, is that you're going to be able to take this out of the box like a board game and play immediately, but it is more of a war skir skirmish game with a cart playing element. Yeah. And so you're doing really well, so you're already funded? Uh, not yet. We're closing in. Uh, we didn't have funding uh, before we got to Gen Con. Well, we were doing good. We were about a third of the way through it at the process. But Gen Con has been a huge boost. We're on our way to our goal. It should be great. And uh, all the first ten stretch goals after the base goal do nothing but add to the base box. Right now the base box has nice. a little over 30 miniatures involved in it. And 30 may not sound like a lot, but, you know, when they're this big. That's what, three inch base? Uh, this is a 127 mil. About that. Yeah. Five inch tall mini. I don't even know if I can call it a mini anymore. It's more like a monster. No, but, it, is, it is a monster. Yeah. So, and uh, it, you know, it's a good paperweight, too. Yeah, absolutely. Or a good bludgeoning like, object. Oh my, if this was pewter, it'd be like 30 pounds. <laughs> well, hopefully when we get it done actually in plastic, it'll be a little bit lighter. All right. Um, so, yeah, the base box right now on the Kickstarter comes with these two factions. Uh, it's going to come with... One large monster, as you've seen, which I love showing off, as you can tell. Two of the small manifestations, and it's going to come with 12 of the devoted minions. And the devoted are actually pretty interesting. They're uh, human beings that get caught up in this fight between gods. And they get either conscripted in by force, or they're allowed to volunteer of their own will. So right now, what we're trying to do is get funding to uh, add more things to the box. Like, the first funding goal is to get the Steam Drake and this Nightmare Worm into the base box for both of the factions. And this isn't all we've got planned. We've actually got four more factions in the works, but it just depends on how far we can get in the Kickstarter. Excellent. Excellent. Anything else you want to add? Uh, 
not that I can think of. All I know is that the game is fun. Everyone here that's played has had a blast. And uh, yeah, all I know is we've got enough industry experience behind us. I'm the concept artist behind this project, and I've been working in the industry for five or six years now. My partners are 20 year veterans of the industry as well. We know what we're doing, we know what we can produce, and we will deliver on this. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Signing off from Gen Con. Thank you. Hey, thank you, man. I'm glad to do any kind of talking about this game. I bet.